All right, guys, what's going on? Let's get right after it. Quick little video here about why I think the lob wedge is your best option moving forward for any shots inside 50 yards, because if you're just like me, that damn pitch tempo keeps on getting me, catching me off guards, and then I keep hitting a slower, very slow shot, and then it just goes all over the place. Let's also make sure that we are playing the correct wedge and which type of shot with that wedge that we're hitting so make the ball stop as quickly as possible. A lot of these times these greens keep rolling out and that's because they're firm because you're playing on a higher difficulty and you have to stop the ball quickly. So obviously it's not going to be perfect every single time but at least you're going to be able to swing the swing with a fast tempo like your normal iron or driver swing that is consistent to that speed and then you'll be able to put the ball closer you'll be able to get it to stop closer and hopefully you'll be able to make a lot more shorter putts. If you're also someone like me who has been struggling with the pitch shot, um, you take your normal swing, your driver swing, your iron swing, even a flop swing, and it's all the same tempo. And then you go to that damn pitch shot and for some reason everything is just so much slower and your tempo and then you just get halfway back and you're just used to doing your timing and your rhythm and then it's just like damn. It got me again, I always hit it slow. So we're gonna get into that and why I think the pitch shot is bad shot. If you're hitting normal shots, and you can see it right here, in that normal shot, this is my swing tempo. This is, this is fast, this is nice. This is what every other shot is like. And then for some reason, when you go to the pitch shot, you pull back on the stick, and he's like he's in slow motion. I don't know about you guys, but when I play golf, I do not slow down my swing just to hit a pitch shot. So, and then I get the very slow, it pumps out to the right. It pumps out to the right and you can't control it anymore. So, if I hit this pitch shot and, like you really have to emphasize and every single time it's gonna be slow and you're just be like, I can't control this. So, that is the biggest problem. The second biggest problem is obviously the rollout. You see here with these shots, this rollout is going to be you really don't know. So this one rolled nicely. Eh, almost dropped it in, that pitch shot. But you really don't know. So what I do is I flop. I flop everything because when you hit these shots, you're going to get the ball to stop quickly. It's going to hop once. And most, all, pretty much all my chip-ins have been due to the flop. So, and you can swing full. And it's the same tempo as normal. You can swing that fast tempo if that's what you're used to. It bumps and it stops quickly. The big thing you have to pay attention to is the lob, the sand, the gap, and the pitching wedge. You only can do the flop shot with a wedge. It's all about just the tempo. The pitch shot tempo just doesn't do it for me. Chipping works, I, I like chipping. So if you're close, I recommend chipping. But if you're in the bunker, let's hit at this hole right here. You also have to account for a little bit of wind. I'm gonna hit the pitching wedge flop, actually, no, okay, I can't hit that. Hit the gap wedge flop. It's gonna roll out a little bit. There we go, come on, roll out there. There we go. All right, so those are more makeable putts. Sand, I aim for the sand a lot of the times because you can just hit the flop shot and you get it to stop real quick. So 77%, aim right behind the hole. We are hitting on a little bit of an upslope. But that's, that stops quick. So I aim for the sand. Let's do it. 47 yards. It's going to tell me to pitch it again with a lob wedge. Pitch sucks. For me, personally, it sucks. So 83% rough. I'll go to the flop with the gap wedge. It's going to roll out a little bit. And you got to play with your distances. But this shot, at least I know, will hit. And then roll out. But... I know the tempo of this swing. Flop shot. Try to go go get one. Come on, get up there. Not accounting for enough of the rough. There we go. Let's 
so we'll take that all day. Alright, quick extra tip here about the controls on your left side of shot shaping. Obviously we know right and left, start the ball all right, make it come back to the left, start the ball to the left, make it come back to the right. If you go up, this is going to be how you hit lower, so if you're hitting into the wind you definitely want to be hitting lower. If you want to be hitting higher, then you're going to be going up here. And if you want to be, uh, if you want the ball to roll out more, that's going to be your right stick here. So you're going to add it all the way up, and if you want to hit more spin, you're going to be obviously pulling down. Stops quickly. So that's quick tips. In the comments below, please leave any future videos that you would like me to do. I'm more than happy to test out any types of clubs or any type of thing that you would like me to test out. Hit the like button and make sure you hit the notification tab as well so that way you can get these videos immediately. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good one.